you know what are the characteristics of a straight line that means from the slope angle of inclination and intercept of a line you can identify a line but do you need all these three information to define a line for that you need to ask a question to yourself what defines a straight line completely do i need all the information let's see here we have been given an information a line has an angle of inclination of 45 degree and y intercept is 2 units you know what is angle of inclination the angle a line makes with the x axis and y intercept what is y intercept the point on the y axis where the line intercepts or cuts it right so with these two information can you draw a line well let me draw a line with the angle of inclination as 45 here i have just taken a random line of of whose angle of inclination is 45 degrees but we have been given another information that the y intercept is 2 units can you tell me which point here has the y intercept as 2 units well y intercept 2 units units means 2 units on the y axis so positive 2 so 1 to this point right now i have to place this line which has the angle of inclination of 45 degree to this point so let me place it here like this so it has to pass so this line passes through the point where the y intercept is 2 units and the angle of inclination we know that is already 45 so this line could be defined by giving the angle of inclination and y intercept only now another example a line passes through a point p minus 2 comma 3 and its angle of inclination is 60 degree in the first example we were given angle of inclination and what we were given we were given the y intercept here we have been given a point you can see it has a x coordinate as a y coordinate and we have been given angle of inclination now can you draw a line here let's see first locate this point p that is minus 2 comma 3 minus 2 and 3 here so this is p now we have to draw a line that passes through this point and has an angle of inclination 60 degree so with the help of the protractor you can draw a line here measuring 60 degree to do that so you get this line which is passes through the point p that is minus 2 comma 3 and has the angle of inclination with the x axis as 60 degree now if i ask you to find the slope of this line can you find out yes we know that slope is actually what tan theta where theta represents angle of inclination so here tan 60 theta is replaced with 60 so tell me what is the value of tan 60 it is root 3 so the slope of this line is root 3 so you could see that using the two informations we could find out the third information so that means we do not need all the three information to be present to draw a line now the another example a line passes through two points p 7 comma 3 and q minus 3 comma 1 well this is so very easy if i give you any two point you can draw a line by joining those two points so similarly you just have to plot these two points and join us them to form a straight line do that p 7 comma 3 7 comma 3 and q minus 3 comma 1 now join these two points see you get a straight line so this was very easy so what did we see we saw that what defines a straight line completely is slope of the line and the y intercept the first example coordinates of a point on the line 
and slope of the line or angle of inclination you can say because if the angle of inclination is given you can find out the slope so our second example proved this and coordinates of any two points on the line so that means if i give you any two coordinates you can obviously define a line so these three informations can help us to define a straight line now instead of geometrically drawing the line we can also identify it through its algebraic equation here what we were doing we were seeing what information we have got and according to that we were drawing the line but every time you may not have such information so here what we will do we will find out the algebraic equation of such informations and then solve it now we know that the general form of an equation of a straight line is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where a b and c are real numbers and a and b are not simultaneously zero but every time this general form may not be useful then what we will do we will use these informations we just saw to define the straight line so now in the next lecture you will learn how to find the algebraic equation of these things we have just found out so depending on which of the three sets of information is used the equation of a straight line can have three different forms now you will learn how to find out those three different forms